Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks so much for tuning into the channel. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at the Street of Shops in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, and um, I did not have as much time to do a proper filming of this place, so I just took some filming of the back of the place in the parking area that we were in. I did buy a bunch of singles and a $1 mystery pack. Um... So I apologize for not doing a full filming. One of these days I will get around to it. Uh, we took the dog to a park down the street to get a drink. And right after he's done with this, we are going to go over what I bought. Okay, so um, let's go over the stuff that I bought at Street of Shops uh, several weeks ago. And I apologize for <laughs> the very brief uh, weird video of the back wall of the building, but it's all I had. Um, beep beep and he's hiding behind here beep beep so I'm gonna go over the singles first but this is the pack of uh, cards that I got for a dollar a mystery pack it has a hundred cards and I can already tell that there's some junk wax by looking at the sides of it so not having a whole lot of hope bit for a dollar why not let's do it it'll be for entertainment value at the very least uh, so we got a 2013 Bowman uh, Albert Pujols for a quarter. Um, Topps Heritage New Age Performers. This is from 2000, 2001. I'm, I almost said 2007. Uh, that's uh, 25 cents for that. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, these are from 20, 2007 Topps Heritage. That's Johan Santana for a quarter. And some 05 Heritage. That's Jeff Bagwell for 25 cents. And there's Tom Glavin also for 25 cents. And here's a Tom Glavin from 06 Heritage. Also 25 cents. And back to 05 Heritage. Mike Mussina for 25 cents. Um, Topps Gallery. 19 2019 that's Mookie Betts for a quarter uh, Nolan Aaron Arenado for a quarter uh, Justin Verlander for a quarter and we have a much earlier um, tops gallery from 2000 that's Jeff Bagwell for 25 cents that's a pretty cool photo I think don't have anything from that year uh, lime green parallels from 2019 Donruss Optic. That's Chris Davis. That was a quarter. Nelson Cruz was a quarter. Joey Gallo was 50 cents. And Cal Quantrill rated rookie card, 50 cents. And Charlie Blackman for 50 cents. Did I actually miss... I might have said a quarter for that, but that one was 50 cents. Sorry about that. Sometimes the mouth doesn't cooperate with the brain. Uh, we have a 2020 Topps Chrome Pink Refractor. That's Nelson Cruz. That is 50 cents. We got another one. Oops. Another one for Trevor Story. That's 50 cents. And uh, Andrew Benintendi for 50 cents. Now, this is uh, Select Stars, which is some insert set from 1993 this is ryan sandberg uh the front looks great but when i got home i noticed that the corners had a little bit of white on them so it's not a perfect specimen but still for 50 cents not a bad deal um stadium club chrome capture the action mark mcguire this is from 2000 got that for 50 cents A Topps Tribute from, uh, let me see, 2020. That's Sammy Sosa. I like the little rainbow effect that's in the border of those cards. A red, white, and blue parallel from 2020 Panini Prism. Javier Baez, that was 50 cents. Justin Turner, also 50 cents. And Starling Marte, 15, 50 cents. We have a Scott Rowland from uh, 2005 Absolute Memorabilia. That was 25 cents. 
1999 Upper Deck Choice Star Quest. Got a Scott Rowland. I think that's a pre- one of the neatest sets from back in the 90s. This I guess it's an insert set, but I think the design is really cool. Uh, what is this? Uh, Skybox Dugout Access Double Header from 1998. That's Scott Rowland for 25 cents. Um, tops a tradition continues. This is an insert set from 2001 for Scott Rowland. That was 25 cents. Now that Scott's in the Hall of Fame, I feel I'm obliged to pick out his cards whenever I see a good deal on them. Uh, this is 98 Tops Chrome. This is Eric Chavez, Russ Johnson, and Russell Branion on a, uh, I guess you could call this a prospects card. That was 25 cents. 2003 Playoff Portraits. That's Vladdy Guerrero, 25 cents. That's senior, of course. Uh, Tops Gypsy Queen Green Parallel from 2019 of Corey Kluber for 25 cents. Uh, 2021 Stadium Club Sepia Parallel of Zach Greinke. That was $0.25. Cents. I'm sorry, that's a little bit out of focus. We have a JT Rio Muto on the uh, 1985 design from 2020 Tops. Um, 1999 Upper Deck challengers for 70 is what this set is from this is the long ball legends insert that's tino martinez for a quarter and this one is um 2006 fleer lumber company insert mark to share for a quarter another one for a quarter this is the um where did i write that one down 93 upper deck I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I oose collection <laughs> of Mark McGuire for a quarter. We have the 52 tops design from 2021 tops of Alex Bregman for a quarter. Pretty cool photo. And this one is a um, tops gold from 1993. Uh, this is Jason Kendall. Uh, I think that's a rookie card for a quarter. Uh, this is um, Tops from 2008 Update Ring of Honor 1986 New York Mets. What a mouthful. Uh, that's Dwight Gooden for a quarter. Here's uh, D. Gordon on Tops Chrome, the family business insert. This is a, uh, I mean, Chrome Update from 09. Uh, he has since changed his last name to D. Strange Dash Gordon. Uh, Ichiro. This is uh, from, uh, it says Upper Deck up here, but it actually was issued for Post Serial. See that down there? That's from 03. And we got that for 50 cents. Kind of neat how the light reflects off that. Uh, from Capstone, um, from 2022, this is uh, J.D. Martinez. I don't have very many Capstone cards. Somewhere down the road, I hope I f I'll find a blaster box of these because I think they're pretty cool looking. Uh, Stars of MLB, the Topps Chrome variation of that. Uh, this is Matt Olson. And here's another one of Corbin Burns. Both of those are from the 2022 Tops set. We have a 2022 Tops Chrome Sepia Parallel of Kyle Tucker for 50 cents. Um, what's this one? This is from 2022 Absolute from an insert set called Hall Worthy. And this is a Lava Parallel of Gary Carter. And we got two 1965 uh Design insert cards from the 2021 set, Cody Bellinger and Garrett Cole, and they were both a quarter each. So the next thing to do is open up this pack of 100 cards, a mystery pack. Uh, looks like it's wrapped up in saran wrap or something. I don't know if it's taped. 
kit is, and it warns you, uh, please don't open. <laughs> so I'm probably thinking this is a, a way for the seller to get rid of a bunch of junk wax because there is a, the yount on the back, I believe, is a junk wax card. I'm trying to open this up carefully. Try not to damage anything. Okay, we're slowly getting there. And let's see what what, what we're going to find in this. Um, so this was the top card. Johnny Damon, Future Star. Um, I guess from 97 Tops. So that caught my eye. Some of the other um, packs they had there had uh, minor league cards for a team in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I didn't recognize any of the players, but I do re remember Johnny Damon. I do collect his cards, so I don't think I have this one. So it was like, well, for a buck, you get this plus all this other stuff that's afterwards. So we have an 81 Tops Rick Cerrone. It's got a, a dent here in the corner. Not a valuable card anyway. A 1980 Topps Padres card, unmarked on the back. Uh, not in bad shape. One little corner ding down here. Another one up here. I don't know why I spend so much time looking at corner dings from the older cards, but I just do. We have Mike Gallego from 90 Donruss. Uh, Luis Salazar. There's Xavier Hernandez from, what's that, 93 Upper Deck. Mark Newfield from 91 Tops. I guess this was a big deal back in the day, this draft pick card, but I don't think much happened with Mark Newfield. There's Dave Hollins, played third base for the Phillies in the early 90s. Uh, Mike Sosha. Mackie Sasser. Jim Abbott. Bill Gullickson, Greg Gross, big fan of Greg Gross. What year is that? That's 89 uh, score. This um, might be near the end of his career here. Great pinch hitter. Uh, Jeff Reed and Ray Knight. Uh, Scott Terry. We got Bobby Bo on, uh, what is this called? Uh, special edition from Collector's Choice. I've seen these before. I guess that's from 95. So, I mean, there's a few cards in here that I'll probably PC. Jermaine Die from Collector's Choice. And some of these I don't have. Carlos Baerga. Um... 98 tops not sure if that's a gold card or not anybody out there familiar with 98 tops can uh, leave me a comment because i don't have any 98 tops um wasn't paying much attention to collecting at, at around that time so let me know if that's a tops gold card but it's a pretty cool photo hope he landed okay uh don baylor from o2 tops this time in manager's role most of the cards I have of him were as a player. Sandy Alomar um, Jr., uh, Top Stadium Club. Not sure what year this came out. Looks like 95. Uh, Albert Bell from Score, 98. Set I'm not familiar with. So there are some good cards in here, better than I expected. I think we've already made up our dollar. Uh, Ellis Burks from 91 score. There's Rondell White, Leaf Preferred uh, from 96. Brady Anderson from Pinnacle. That's a pretty cool photo. Oh, I apologize for the light glare. I've been trying my best to limit the glare. I tried different angles of, of the light just uh, because sometimes I like to hold them like this and that messes them up. So Ray Langford, that's from Leaf, Albert Bell, and Carlos Baerga. We have Greg Vaughn. What year tops was that? 96. Jack Clark from 92 tops. That's a, that's actually a pretty cool photo of Jack. Uh, Gary Pettis, 91 upper deck. George Bell on Stadium Club. 90 Donruss Howard Johnson. 
Sid Fernandez of 91 Donruss, Gino Petralli, Keith Miller. Uh, 1967 postseason headliners. Or 1997, I'm sorry. The, when the, the silver text on there is not the easiest for my eye sometimes. That's Tony Fernandez. That's pretty cool. Um, IPC, Tony Fernandez. I thought he was a pretty great player. Jermaine Dye, upper deck, first pitch. That's from 05. Gary Pettis, Greg Jeffries, Ben McDonald, draft pick. That was a hot card back in the day. Not anymore. Uh, Vince Coleman. Um, this, I think, might be Vince's rookie card, but I think Vince shows up in the 85 Tops Traded set. Um, I'd have to look that up to be sure. So that's pretty cool. Jay Buhner. wonder if that's a... No, I don't think that's his rookie card. Sandy Alomar Jr. We have Chuck McElroy and Moises Alou on Major League Prospects there, so I assume that's a Moises Alou rookie card, maybe. Uh, I need to really get myself brushed up on the rookie cards back in the uh, 88 onward period. Pat Combs rated rookie from Donruss 90. There's Don Zimmer. 91 top Cecil Cooper we have an old 82 Fleer Jim Gantner looks like there's some markings down there I'm not sure what's going on there I hope it's not poop <laughs> uh, Howard Johnson and Ryan Sandberg that's a cool looking card there's Jose Canseco Dennis Eckersley Kent Herbeck, Jim Sundberg, that's an early Leaf card. Uh, well, sort of early. Ryan Sandberg, Matt Kane, opening day. Now and then, George Brett, that's pretty cool looking. Uh, Tim Hudson, upper deck, Black Diamond. Hmm. Brian Downing on a, what is this, 86 Leaf? No, 85 Leaf. Sorry. Uh, Jason Giambi from Ovation. I've got a couple cards I've seen of that in the past. 89 tops Paul Molitor. 87 tops Mickey Tettleton. So this has turned out a lot better than I expected. There's a Frank Thomas on a Sport Flix card. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Gorman Thomas. What do we got going on here with Gorman Thomas? What's that up in the upper... Fan favorites or something going on there. That's like some sort of reprint. Tops Archives fan favorites from 04 of Gorman. But he has a big corner ding up here, unfortunately. And a little scratch down here. But otherwise, a pretty neat looking card. Yeah, I know. It's Gorman Thomas. But I thought Gorman Thomas was a pretty cool player back in the day. Eric Caros, uh, 300 strikeout club, Nolan Ryan and Mike Scott. There's an 81 Pedro Guerrero, uh, Kirby Puckett, Kirby Puckett, Willie Stargell. That's, I guess, the card of the uh, showing the full puzzle that went with that set. Uh, these are getting stuck together here. Rick Dempsey. Uh, Derek May, Oral Hershizer, Jay Buhner, Calvin Schiraldi, Les Lancaster, Donnie Hill, Tim Burke, Coming Attractions, Miguel Jimenez, who's the other player? Kurt Abbott, uh, Russ Davis, and Brian Taylor. Uh, Santana, Lincecum, and Peavy. That is the 08 NL leaders in earn run average. Sorry about the glare again. I sometimes have to tip it up to get the light onto the silver text so I can read it. Denard Span. Uh, franchise history of the Twins, Kirby Puckett Place, and franchise history of the Washington Nationals. Last bunch from this one, we have a Donner's card of the Carl Yastrzemski puzzle. I think that's what that is. 
Uh, Leo Gomez, rated rookie. Don Ossie. Gary Reedus, pretty cool photo there. Bat meets ball. John Franco. Don Paul. Sean Bosky. Scott Galbraith. Uh, Gerald Williams. Ron Karkovice. Uh, Tony Fernandez. Again, I'm not sure if that's a Topps Gold card or not. Or if that's just the way this card's designed. So leave that in some note in the comments. I will eventually look that up at some point. Uh, if nobody comments on it. Uh, the 1989 World Series card from Game 3. That's from Score. Jason Giambi on Score 96. And the shot heard round the world. From a Bowman card. Vinny Castilla from a 97 Bowman. That's a design I'm not familiar with. And Robin Yount from Donruss Triple Play of 1994. So that actually wasn't bad for a dollar. That was not bad at all. Um, I thought for sure the thing would be just filled up with junk wax. Now there were some junk wax in there and you sort of expect that for a a mystery pack that is only a dollar. Um, I guess maybe the next time I'm there, maybe I'll pick up a couple more of them if they're still available. Uh, obviously, this was the seller's way of getting rid of a bunch of cards at a cheap price so that they're, they can keep their inventory from being clogged up with whatever it is that they think they're being clogged up with. And for a buyer like me, there's a bunch of cards I don't have Plenty of them stars. I know most of these probably aren't worth a whole lot. You know, some of them are 25 cent, 50 cent cards. And there's a bunch of uh, junk wax, which is probably about a penny a card. But still, um, this is definitely worth a dollar, I think. Um, I'm not going to add up the individual prices to figure it out. If you want to do that, if you have the time to do that, you're more than welcome to do that. And uh, I don't know why you would want to. <laughs> But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I appreciate your support, and you can do that by liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment if you so desire. Take care, everyone. Have a nice day. Beep, beep.